face. So, here we go. Hello, guys. You can see my face now. So, so, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna open the, bl the Black Panther 12 inch Black Figure. Panther. That's crispy. And here is the 12 inch Marvel Legends Black Panther out of the packaging looking pretty damn great. Um, aesthetically this figure looks freaking cool. It doesn't look that great because I'm not zoomed in, it just looks all black, but the detail throughout the entire figure is really really cool. Uh, it has that type of, uh, I can't think of the name right now, like fiber something, carbon fiber, there you go. It has like a carbon fiber underneath all the armor and it's just super super cool I can't I cannot wait to watch this movie um, so the articulation is killer on these figures um, for this being their first 12 inch Marvel Legends movie figure they did a great job because when they were first announcing this figure everybody was talking shit about it you know the emo panther and shit like that but the head skull came out really great uh, Hasbro just does not know how to Hasbro does not know how to pose and advertise their own stuff well, in my opinion. Um, but this figure looks great. The accessories are freaking awesome. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a closer look at all the details. Alright, let's take a quick look at his accessories, then we'll take a quick look at the figure. So he comes with one staff. has really good detail in it. The yellow gold markings in it. And then to the spear at the bottom. And it fits perfectly in these hands. So he comes with his open claw hands, he comes with his uh, open hands where he could hold his staff, and fists. Detail on all the hands are really, really good. Let me get a closer shot. It's that little under, under armor stuff is really clean all the way through the figure. And then let's take a closer look at the head. Eyes came out really good. This looks better than the Marvel Legend, uh, the six inch one, in my opinion. The head came out really clean. The eyes look good. The beard looks great. Hair came out good. Ears look good. Nose came out great. Frown came out good. And here's the mask Black Panther. Again, that armor underneath looks awesome. The design on the forehead is really awesome. The eyes came out great. The silver. It's funny, when they first announced this figure, everybody was like, Boo, why are we getting a sad Black Panther? But everybody's loved this figure so far, and I love it just opening the figure. So let's go ahead and check out the 12-inch the Black Panther now. So honestly, let's start with the bottom. Those toes look freaking cool. Um, how awesome is that, that we get toe articulation with these 12-inch figures? Um, so of course, it does have ankle pivot and a hinge. So the articulation on the feet are always great and it came out really, really cool. Going up, he has the type of boots, silver, vibranium, plated gear right there. And then again, we're going to go up with the carbon fiber up to the knees. Going up, crotch, you can start to see the detail and has more adamantium, silver, vibranium right there in his hips. And then going up, you can start to see the detail in his armor and all the carbon fiber underneath. Then again on his necklace and on his face, which looks really, really good. Alright, so the articulation on these 12-inch figures are great. Let me just go ahead and do an overview. 
So you can, of course, 360 the head. It's on a ball, ball peg. We do have butterfly joints up top, which is freaking awesome. Uh, you can 360 double jointed elbows and a wrist hinge and can 360. Uh, we have an upper joint where you can bend forward and back. And be careful because this is my second Marvel Legend Black Panther. I snapped it right out of the packaging right there because it was super tight. Moved it once and it broke right off. So be careful with your Black Panther. Then we have tough joints, man. Let me get that torso. Yeah, so I had to crack his his abs, but really good articulation right there. Then there's no hint, there's no uh, twist right there, but the upper part lets you bend him as much as you want. So his legs kick out a really good amount. Have a hinge right there, double jointed knee, swivel there, pivot, and toes. So just be really careful when you're messing with this figure straight out the packaging because those joints will break. It's really tight, but once you get them cracked, it's really good articulation. And for size comparison, here he is next to the Target exclusive Black Symbiote Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man looks a lot, a little bit taller than him, but I think it's just because of the head. The head looks bigger. And there he is next to the 12-inch uh, Wolverine figure. Uh, again, Wolverine's head looks a little bit bigger, but I think it's just because the Black Panther mask is a little tighter on him. Um, but, it, I mean, it looks great with Black Panther, but compared to those guys, his head looks a little small next to them. And here he is next to his Avenger allies. Uh, on his right, we have Tony Stark Iron Man, and on his left, we have Steve Rogers Captain America. And he's a bit smaller than these guys. Uh, Tony Stark looks a bit taller than him, but he's about the same height as, Cap the same height as Captain America. Um, I guess it makes sense because he wears that suit and he would be thinner than them. He looks good next to Captain America, but next to Iron Man... Well, I guess it works because he's wearing an Iron Man suit, so... And that scales good with him. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Right, guys, that's going to be it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Super excited to watch the movie. Should be coming out in about a week. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.